Dragon's Dogma 2 just released on PC and consoles, and it's driving a lot of people seemingly insane, which I can definitely understand with the microtransaction scheme that they have going. It's quite worrying to see that companies are going to these lengths to make an extra buck. Anyways, on to the performance, which is, of course, the purpose of this video. Before we move on, let me just talk about what uh, the benchmark settings were. So everything at the absolute lowest, no form of resolution scaling. So no FSR, no resolution scaling, nothing. And that was at 720p across the board. So all four devices that I tested. So with the Rogue Ally, what we have in terms of performance is not very appealing let's just put it this way um, and these are in the best conditions and what i mean by the best conditions is the landscape and npcs don't seem to have much of an impact on in terms of the fps but the moment you have um, particle effects on screen the the fps will drop i want to say by another maybe 10 20 percent give or take so hitting 30 fps is, is going to be hard on this device uh, for the most part Moving on to the next one in the list, we have the 7640U. Now, it's a little better in some areas, a little worse in others. Overall, you know, once again, this is not really a device that should effectively run this game. Uh, and I'll show you a screenshot by the end. It doesn't look all that great as well with everything at the lowest. But yeah, I, I wouldn't consider playing this game on the 7640U. The 7840U definitely fared better. Now, this is no surprise. This is pretty much expected. Uh, and is probably one of the only devices I would recommend to potentially buy this. But just, just expect to play at 30 FPS. You're never going to reach 60 with this game unless you drop your resolution at like super duper low. And believe me, it already doesn't look all that great. You guys will see with the screenshot. But, you know, we did manage to hit over 30 and at 25 watt, I, I ran into a fight uh, that had particle effects. And I, I went a little under 30 at some times here and there. Like, it, it's still playable, but you should, you know, know what to expect. Moving on, the 6800U, which um, uh, that was the only device that I actually tried 30 watt. I mean, not that I tried, that I benched 30 watt. I did try on other devices as well, just not all of them. Um the FPS, as you can see, scales when going to 30 watt as well. So if you're plugged in, you know, you might be able to get that little few FPSs that you're missing to hit the 30 consistently. But then again, I would expect that in fights that are particle effect heavy, you will most likely go under. So if we look at 15 watt TDP, and it's pretty much going to be the same scenario across the board, except for this one where the 6800U once again, flexes at the lower TDP versus the newer chipset. Uh, but still, the 7840U managed to do very well here nonetheless. When moving to 18 watt and then to 21 watt. And last but not least, to 25 watt. And so we're going to end this video with the screenshot. So to show you an example of what it looks like without FSR3 and with FSR3 activated. Now, I didn't see that much of an increase in terms of FPS, but as you can see, the visual clarity was much better. However, despite having a better visual clarity, the motion when using FSR3 is, is greatly affected. And you have to keep in mind that because we are working with a lower FPS overall with the game, the the judder that you experience with FSR3 is increased. It's way more obvious than if you were playing at 60, 90, 120 FPS. So yeah, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't recommend. If, if your goal is to play on one of those handheld PCs, I wouldn't recommend buying Dragon's Dogma. If you're playing on a standalone PC, you know, you have a rig, you're playing on a console, absolutely. I don't know much about the game, if I'm being absolutely honest. I'm just talking about performance here. I think that would be a game best avoided when it comes to handheld PCs. And that is it for me. I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.